two years since the last Gee Brunch Singapore. Thanks, COVID. Well, I was back asking a different question this time. How do you deploy? Hello, everyone. I'm Xi'an. Um, how do you deploy? Okay, cool. Uh, I, I deploy using Vercel. It's easy, pass, very convenient. Yes, yeah, staging deploys, everything. It's pretty cool. Yeah, Vercel is great. Oh. Hi, I'm Indian, an engineer at the Superbase team. So how do we deploy software? Uh, different products are deployed in different ways. Uh, for our storage product, what we do is we use GitHub Actions to create a container image and we auto-publish it to Docker and ECR. And we have uh, we use Pulumi to write infrastructure as code, and that takes the Docker image from ECR and publishes it to the different regions uh, we operate in. We use ECS with auto-scaling setup to uh, deploy storage. And other products are deployed in using other mechanisms. For example, we use Fly.io. Sometimes we just use raw EC2 instances. But yeah, that's how we deploy software. Deploy by using FTP. <laughs> I'll just drag and drop all my files into my folder. And that's, that's how I deploy. Um, so how do I deploy? I SSH in and I async uh, the files individually. That's how I deploy. It's the best way. Hello everyone, this is Aris from CityJS. How do I deploy? So the CityJS website is currently on Netlify and basically the, all the six websites is one uh, repo uh, which is uh, then uh, different uh, domains within the Netlify. Every time I make a change um, in, uh, in the main repo all the changes are getting cascaded into all the different domains that are in Netlify. And uh, eventually, um, the data has been, uh, has been uh, coming from uh, Contentful. Uh, they have a different uh, environmental variables. And basically, uh, when, I, when I deploy the one repo, um, everything um, works for all the six websites of the six uh, okay, how do I deploy? Uh, currently, it's actually using uh, GitHub Actions. So, uh, GitHub Actions, we have this workflow. So, workflow, we have uh, we use uh, composite actions. So, actually, you can build a lot of common actions and uh, run some common setup and tear down uh, things before you uh, like SSH. Uh, deploy keys, uh, uh, credentials for AWS. Um, previously, like 20, 30 years ago, we use FTP. Yeah, that is the easy one. Then later, depending on uh, when to, uh, uh, my company is big, uh, big bucket, then we use big bucket pipelines. So now, yeah, we use uh, GitHub Actions. Git push, some magic happens, and then it's deployed. GitHub Actions and Fly.io. Uh, we have one central computer in the office that <laughs> everyone needs to go to. Uh, somehow it has all the dependencies in there. If there's only one computer, it has no backups. We Push, we have to copy our code into that computer using a thumb drive. Yep. <laughs> or should I say copy disk? And we build it there. We do not update the computer because somehow the update breaks the build. <laughs> and then we copy it out and then we FTP it to the server. <laughs> no, okay, no, in all seriousness, uh, our, ours is uh, we use GitLab to do the build. GitLab builds a Docker container. Uh, Docker containers uh, are then pushed to our Kubernetes infrastructure. Short and simple. Uh, Argo CD, Flex. Huh? How do you deploy from Kubernetes? Do you use Argo CD or something, or you just go kubectl apply? Uh, something slightly expensive than kubectl, but it's effectively kubectl underneath the hood. In most of the projects, uh, I just use Vercel when when it's convenient. Uh, some other times I use Netlify if it's in a private, okay, if it's in an organization-owned repository. Other times, other times when I need a server, I just spin up a digital ocean uh, or Linode virtual machine and then and then uh, copy my code there, I think, and then run Node in Tima for one-off event, yep. Uh, when I'm working on very simple projects, like a simple static website, I'll just deploy in GitHub pages using GitHub Actions or like Firebase or something like that. 
or if like it's a no project and I like don't want to maintain it, uh, yeah, I'll just deploy on Verso or something like that. But when it comes to something I really want to experiment with, I'll just deploy it on my own Kubernetes cluster or my machine using Podman. Podman is a great substitute for Docker. Yeah, so that's how I deploy. I build my Podman containers or Docker containers on GitHub Actions and then uh, push it to my Kubernetes cluster or someone else's Kubernetes cluster. Yes. Git push the master. Hi, everybody. Well, um, it really depends on what you are building, the applications you are building. Today, we are trying to use a little more um, uh, containers and with Kubernetes. So, um, yeah, that's, that's what we do. We just uh, use an orchestrator and then uh, push it into the cloud. Yeah, that, that's about it. Jenkins? Yeah, so hi, uh, for deployment in my work, I use Ansible to deploy. So in using Ansible, we can actually manage our configuration in code and also ensure that if our deployment is consistent and stable. Git push, that's it. I, I'm not deploying, I have a magician for this, an employee who do it, because I have no clue how to do it anymore. I'm out of development since five years and I think this is the decade, right? How do I deploy my website? Huh? I asked my boyfriend to do it. <laughs> Hi, uh, I like to deploy stuff on Vercel. Uh, I think it makes uh, deploying stuff on the cloud easy because uh, all I have to do is git push, then Vercel does everything for you. Hello, so for uh, personal uh, deployment for a static website, right? You just need to, uh, my experience is a GitHub page. Right, you write your static website on GitHub page and then actually GitHub page uh, will directly serve your static website from your repository, from the um, a main branch, like the branch that you set. So it's as easy as that for uh, nowadays. Deployment is become not very hard already. Yeah. Remote desktop into a Windows computer and then drag and drop, copy and replace files. Hey, thanks to everyone who participated. Great to see you all. I'm sorry the sound is still not great. Wheeler's Yard is a nightmare to record in. Thanks to all those hard services. Put some blankets in there, people. Now, how do I deploy? You know me, AWS, S3, CloudFront, serverless, Lambda. That's usually how I do it. What about you? Comments below. Thank you for watching. Please like the video. It's great to be amongst you all again. Bye.